you often need to change strategies in order to be more effective. And one thing we see again and again is the best sales leaders or the best executives in our customer base continually change. So they, they try something, they look at the data, they see how it performs, they tweak something else. Again, it's a continual process of iteration. And so the first thing is just having a flexible mindset and a sort of permission to fail around running experiments. There should be a continual desire to change and adjust and try new things. Um, and that's how we get better. But then there become, there comes times when like either a crisis or an enormous opportunity comes up that's probably not of your doing and you have an opportunity or a need to really make a dramatic shift. Uh, so being able to, so, so actually having been more flexible when times are good, having been more open to experimentation when times are good, gets your team better prepared to make big changes when you have to. Whether you're the CEO or the manager of a, of a small team, uh, you're modeling the behavior that you want for your group. And so your ability to basically experiment, try new things, not freak out when things don't work, you know, celebrate success but then move on, not too much, you know, and keep it ingrained, get it ingrained in the culture is the thing that's going to be the most indicative of your team's ability to do that same thing.